with the pandemic here now many companies have been trying to adopt a cashless transactions in terms of your stores uh amazon has already launched this uh in the united states a few years back i saw it in a video uh in linus tech tips where he visited a an amazon store in seattle where he was able to pay you know buy products you know without cash just by uh scanning i don't know it wasn't scanned they had detector scanners all over the store and it was able to detect what items you purchase or what you took in your basket and then when you leave it automatically detects in your uh, amazon account so what's different here obviously at the time it was pre-pandemic so you know adapters for those businesses type are not as easily to adapt but with what's happening right now with the pandemic and still ongoing you know it makes sense for amazons to push again the store without the, the, the physical store without paying or paying without cash here and they're able to launch it in outside of the united states in particular in where is it in britain right so the shoppers won't have to line up anymore which is a big plus for cashless payment and then they could just grab their products or produce in this case and walk out the door easy as that now obviously how accurate it is and so forth but you know the concept now makes much more sense now than ever before because of the situation here of, of, of maintaining social distancing avoiding physical contact with the cash registry uh, cash register or cash person and so forth so the store is going to be called amazon fresh which is located in ealing london so this will allow consumers to basically come in pick up the products that you need and then pick up the items what that you need to buy and then simply walk out without having to pay the cash register which is i think that's something many businesses has needs to start adopting it's not just for fresh produce but for you know different retail stores were worldwide i think makes it more easier no need to, to line up but obviously you have to register an account in the first place but you know that's the price you pay for convenience here so what will happen here is items will actually appear on your virtual receipt that is linked to your amazon account uh, which will re be reflected later on so let's see here there you go so as mentioned so it was used already as mentioned earlier that the technology is already implemented in the united states it's just the first time that they're implementing it outside of the united states and obviously they use scales sensor technology shelf cameras and even a number of other technologies to track items whenever you know an item has been taken off now is it foolproof that's why they're using different technologies here to make an accurate assessment in terms of Let's say if you took an item from the shelf and then you return it, does it mean they deduct right away? Or is it by the time you leave the premises here? So they use also sharp, sharp, smart shopping carts uh, that would track goods whenever they are added and shoppers would be automatically charged the moment that they remove the grocery bags. Another is obviously the uh, Amazon is not the only is that really really on the high tech shopping experience especially in the united kingdom obviously other companies has already been trying to adopt the same technology you have tesco which is big in london uh, britain as well as sainsbury uh, they've already tried to replicate the same technologies now obviously you know adoption is another big issue it, you know it varies in terms of success but with what's happening now i think it's easier or it's easier for consumers to adopt the technology now now for the united states e-commerce will try to compete directly with uh, britain's popular grocery chains here now is it a long-term solution will it be a successful model eventually people would you know with the vaccine around the corner if people are vaccinated people feel safe going out they would you know go back to their normal routine in terms of you know buying their products personally i think people still prefer buying items themselves now obviously the convenience of buying online is tremendous but at the end of the day 
you know we we thrive in social you know interaction with talking to people meeting people seeing people right so not just cooped up at home here but i think offering that option is i think going to be tantamount here because if ever hopefully not soon but in the future if you know another crisis or a pandemic were to happen you know businesses already have in place a system that you know that would have a smooth transition when people can go out again you know they have an option you know not only just pick the items if they have to go to the store or it could be delivered to their doorsteps like what amazon has been doing so that's why they're hedging their bets i think in terms of offering delivery service as well as offering their products in stores but you know with less interactions with people but obviously another downside to that is the question is what would happen to you know people's jobs which will be replaced by technology here so that's another discussion <laughs> on another day here